Hi, I'm Rachel Lynn, and I feel like I am blending in with this background right here. Oh well, that's okay. So today I am going to tell you what I got my family for Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and say this right now as a disclaimer. If you are my dad, or if you are my brother Sean, or if you are Valerie, or I really don't think that my 90 four-year-old aunt would be watching this, but, um, or my great aunt Doris, stop watching right now. If you are watching this before Christmas, do not watch this right now because I don't want your gift to be spoiled. So you can watch this later. But if you are not one of those three people, I've lost count. I've lost count of three people, man. Oh my goodness. Like the pandemic has gotten to me, that's for sure. So if you are not one of those three people, then keep watching to find out what I got them for Christmas. Also, if you are not already, go ahead and click the red subscribe button down below. I make videos about um, living a better financial life. And today's video is about what I spent on Christmas. This is not everything that I've spent for Christmas. Um, I am a teacher. I bought some things for my students that um, will be in my budget. So you'll have to look out for that. And then um, also I have not bought anything for dogs. We need to have three dogs in the family. So there's my dog Lucy right here. And then my dad's dog Jay and my brother's dog Jax. <laughs> she was like just laying down. She was not happy about that. <laughs> All right, she's already laid down. She's good. I still need to go dog shopping for um, the dogs in the family. And then I also have some friends that I would like to purchase some gifts for. Although I might not. I don't know. I know like in the past, there's been times in the past where we said that we're not exchanging gifts. Well, let's go on to the gifts. So I got everything at one store. Um, there were a couple of ideas that I had for some of my family members. I mean, I don't have that many family members to buy things for, but I did have some ideas, but I waited a really long time. Today is December 22nd, so I waited until like three days before Christmas, and I don't even know if you can count Christmas Eve. Can you really count Christmas Eve? Because I don't know if that's a, a really true viable shopping day. Maybe it is. But like I, some of the things that I've looked at on Amazon over the last year, it's too late to order something on Amazon. Who's to say that it will actually show up in time? So I decided not to order anything on Amazon. I did decide to go to one store to make things easier on me. I know what my dad likes. I know what my brother likes. Um, I did have to ask a little bit about Valerie, but um, when Sean filled me in, I was like, oh yeah, duh. I know that she likes that. So when I asked my dad what he wanted for Christmas, just because usually my brother and Valerie and I go in and um, purchase something together and um, make a bigger purchase, but we do it for both of my parents. Well, this is the first Christmas without my mom. And there's not, it's kind of hard to give an experience to one person. Um, we've given them football tickets before to go see uh, UK play in different bowl games. We've done that twice, actually. I don't know. We, we, we did something else that we sent them somewhere else. Usually things like that is what we do. Well, I didn't really talk to my brother or Valerie this year about um, going in together on anything. And so I just am purchasing on my own. I didn't know what my dad would need or want. So I asked him what he wanted and he actually told me, he was like, I like bourbon. <laughs> um, so I decided I'm just going to make one stop and I'm going to go to the liquor store and I'm just going to buy some really nice um, stuff for my family. Now there are a couple things that I think I'm going to throw in. Um, I don't know about my dad, but there's a couple things that I'd like to throw in for um, my brother and Valerie. Um, but I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to give this to my brother, but it's something that he could definitely use. So let me go over what I got my family first. For my great aunt, she likes wine, but she lives by herself. She doesn't really drink a lot of wine and wouldn't drink a whole lot at a time. So I got her this right here. Um, I got her, she likes red wine, so I got her Mer Merlot set her home little individual bottles. And she loves to tell the story about um, how when she hasn't been playing, um, I think it's bridge. I think it's bridge. I'm not sure. She plays some kind of card game with some friends. And she always talks about how when they get together, then she would, um, they would serve um, pie and ice cream and then little individual bottles of wine like that. So she always thinks it's hilarious that they have 
pie, ice cream, and um, wine. I don't know why that's hilarious, but she thinks it's hilarious. So I got her those. I might go to a store, to a bookstore, probably half price bookstore, and see if I can find um, like a mystery novel. She really likes to read. She really likes mysteries. So I might get her that along with the wine. And also, I forgot to mention this earlier, but since I am a budget channel, then I am going to tell you how much I spent on each of these items. So the wine was um, $6.99. For Valerie, I got her, she really likes tequila, she really likes a certain drink that she invented on her own, and um, and it is, it's it's like a modified margarita, I think. I think that's what it is but it uses tequila and she really likes Patron so I got her this silver Patron it was actually on sale because it's normally like a $50 bottle like actually a little bit more than $50 but it was on sale for let's see $39.99 then for my brother I was asking the lady at the counter I was like I'm looking for something special for my dad I wanted something really really special for him and I couldn't find well I had a couple of ideas but I wasn't really sure which way to go um, and then she actually said well, she doesn't know much about bourbon um, but she did ask about whiskey and if um, my dad liked peanut butter well my brother loves peanut butter maybe as much as I do I don't know the jury's still out on that one we both love peanut butter and so she told me about this stuff called screwball which is peanut butter whiskey so I decided to put back what I had picked out for my brother it was just kind of like a random bottle of bourbon that I'd never heard of but like the label looked interesting and um, it was just something different so I got this for my brother that was $27.99 and then for my dad, I saw this, it looked really nice. It looked pretty in the box and um, it, I, like, I don't know, it was different. So I got this. This is Booker's Uncut and Unfiltered Small Batch Bourbon Collection. Um, and it says, the whiskey in this package is the highest grade bourbon created by me here at Jim Beam. Now my dad's not a huge fan of Jim Beam, um, but he does, I mean like he likes it, but not like, not, not what most people would drink Jim Beam wise. Um, he is not a fan of that. And so this is not what most people would buy for sure. Um, it is bottled, uncut and unfiltered. My grandfather Jim Beam liked the whiskey from six to eight years old. I guess this is like six to eight year old whiskey, uh, bourbon. It's, it's bourbon. Um, just in case you don't know, bourbon, all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon. So bourbon is special whiskey. <laughs> and our entire family loves bourbon. Um, so and me included, and I have a certain kind that I almost bought, but I thought, you know what, I might actually get that for Christmas. So I decided to wait. Anyway, this was, this was the big one. This was $71.99. And I mean, just like the box is really nice. I just thought it was really, really nice. And I'm hopeful that if it's that expensive, then it'll be good. So I hope. Um, because it was that or like a $220 bottle of bourbon, which I was not going to go that high. Um, I did buy a couple of things for myself. I did buy a pork screw and I found this on the shelf which just sound, which just look really cool. I'm not a huge vodka fan, but um, the flavored, the flavored ones are, are all right. And then also for myself, I got this sheepdog peanut butter whiskey because the lady at the store, she actually said that um, according to somebody that makes something with the peanut butter whiskey, they said that this brand tastes just as good as the other brand, but this brand was cheaper. I mean, it was only a couple of dollars and that bottle is actually a couple of dollars cheaper than what I had already picked up for my brother that I put back on the shelf. So um, I, I went with the slightly more expensive peanut butter whiskey because my brother is also like a part-time bar bartender. And so he would know, he would probably, he's probably even heard of this. Um, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I decided I'm going to get this and I'm going to try it for myself and see which one is better because um, I'm sure that we'll all try each other's um, 
drinks. Not all at once, but I'm sure that we'll all try each other's at some point. I also picked up this because it was 99 cents, um, which actually this was also 99 cents. And um, I picked up this. It's pina colada. I really like pina colada. Um, so I just thought that it would just be a fun drink to have one night. I don't know. Um, and then, oh, I forgot to say that the corkscrew was $4.99. Yeah. And then the Smirnoff vodka was, um, this was $12.99. I swear, like our family, we are not alcoholics. It's just like, this is a special time. And I mean, I don't know what else to get them. And it was just way easier to go to one place for everybody. The total that I spent on all of this was $176.95. Also, along with the Patron for Valerie, I am going to give her some socks. Um, I have, because she asked for, well, she had asked for trucker items. So she is a truck driver and she asked for like different trucker items and I don't know where to get that stuff. And it's late anyway. <laughs> At the end of her list also asked for girly socks, which I'm not really sure what that means, but I'm going to take that to mean like big, fuzzy, fun socks. And then for my brother, I would like to give him a rice cooker because he cannot cook rice <laughs> to save his life. My brother is like a chef, like full on actually is a chef, sort of, I think. I'm not sure if he actually like graduated or not from the culinary school he was attending, but close enough. And he's worked in many, 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 many kitchens in many different restaurants. Um, so while he's not an active, like he's not actively working as a chef right now, he has at least all the training that he would need in order to be considered a chef. So he cannot cook rice. <laughs> he can cook anything, but he cannot cook rice. I think it's hilarious because his rice is either way overdone and like a mushy mess, or it is way, usually it's way underdone and it's like crunchy. So I thought that a rice cooker would be the perfect gift for him. So I guess I do have a little bit more money. If I have time to go out to the store, I might, I might pick up a rice cooker depending on how much they are. I really, really honestly don't know how much they are because even the one that I have, I didn't even buy that one. And I've had that one forever. Um, that one was given to me. So that is everything that I got my family for Christmas. I don't know if I'm going to throw in something extra for my dad, like I am probably going to do for my brother and Valerie. Um, and, and then of course my aunt, I usually get her a book like every year. I'll get her one of the new um, released mystery novels from the year. If I if I buy more stuff, I will definitely let you know. It will also be in my budget as I update that. If you are not already, go ahead and make sure that you click that red subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.